Hello everyone and welcome to part 4.5 of my Pokemon DS hacking tutorials. Well, it's been a while since I recorded part 4 about text editing, but since then two people have come to the server, Cukes and Bag Boy, who let me know what a lot of you who use the old text editing tool found out, that it's not the best option to edit text with. And let me know some other tools you can use instead that should save you some headaches. So I wanted to make an updated video to kind of showcase them and make things easier for you guys moving forward. So the first tool is DS Pokey Hack Studio, which at first I couldn't actually open like that, which I'd run into with a lot of tools, learning how to do this kind of stuff. And I just went ahead and assumed it was because I was on Windows 10 and it's just too new to be able to run some of these older tools made like 10 years ago by some dude. But I was wrong. For a lot of these tools, it's not based on the operating system as much as the version of Java installed. As you can see right here, it's actually using the Java icon. So you can see your version of Java by typing Java into this box here, going to the Java tab and hitting view. And most of us are going to have the times 86 in here, which means 32 bit. I don't know why they don't just say 32 there, but I digress. I believe this is the default that Java will give most people. So what we need to do is install a 64-bit, which will exist side by side by your current 32-bit. And you can get that by going to the main Java website here, clicking free Java download, but instead of agreeing and the start the free download, because it's going to try to give you 32-bit again, we want to see all Java downloads. And for Windows that I have, I want to do this. Offline 64-bit. Which will download it. And I can install it. Or it'll bring up your usual window. You can click install. Okay. And let it do its thing. All right, hit close, and we are good to go. Now, one thing I want to be sure to mention is that if I went to some of my older tools in here, like the DS Text Editor times well, 32, or Overworld Sprite Editor 32, this was talking about the version of Java installed. And even though I have them now side by side, they can't open anymore. Now there may be a way that I can specifically say which version of Java I should try to open with, but it seems to be defaulting to the 64-bit that I just installed. Now it's not the end of the world because I've always included, under mentioned unused tools, 64-bit versions, which can actually now open, whereas for me before they could because I didn't have 64-bit. So that's there, and this is here. And of all the tools I have used in my videos up to this point, these seem to be the only ones that are affected in this way. So while you're on 64-bit, you still have the option to use them, even though these are kind of now the backup tools you don't want to use anyway, so I think we're going to be all right. All right, now that we've got that, I can click on you, and it'll open. And if you go over to the text editor tool, You'll see that he looks very familiar if you've used the old tool. I don't know if it's made by the same developer or not, but there's a lot of inspiration taken from there. But what you don't have to do is you don't have to extract the message file anymore or whatever uh, text file that it uses. Instead, you can go to file, pick your own entire, just the ROM, like so. And you'll get your banks on the left. You can search for your text that you did before. I'm gonna look up hat bunches of hats and then you can click on that and be good to go though I don't actually see hat in here I'm not sure why it grabbed that but you can still go ahead and change things like is not in sight then you want to click save message and save text but you don't have to do save narc as much because now your option is instead save a whole new ROM which you can do still each time, you just overwrite the new ROM that you're making. And then you keep the one you entered in here originally as the old backup ROM, in case anything goes weird. Because I think there may still be some crashing because of this text editing, but it should be far, far less than <laughs> the old tool. 
And that's really it for this one. Unfortunately, though, it can only do Gen 4 from the looks of it. So anywhere between Diamond and Pearl and Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Oh, and I guess also Platinum, so that's the only one in between. But it cannot do Black or White or Black and White too. But that's why I have a second program to show you. So we can go ahead and close this one, like so. And now we will go to SDSME, which is a program that will open, at least for me, no matter which Java version I had installed. So you don't have to worry about installing 64-bit to get this guy to open. And you just do it like so. And it's very similar to what you did with the previous tool. You load a ROM. Go back to the same one I had before, and it'll load the icon. Then it'll tell me a number of maps that it has found because there are some pretty advanced tools here that I haven't learned how to do yet. But mostly, just wanted to focus on the text editing because the previous tool tool was so difficult to use. So I'm going to explain this one now. So you can go to the text editing tab. All your banks are—they're called text in here, but the numbers should match up, and that should be good. So if either of the two give you trouble, you can use the other one, because this one can open any of them between Diamond and Pearl and Black and White 2. The only downside is that this guy doesn't have a search feature. So you're going to have to do a bit more digging with this one, but at least no matter which one you want to change, it can work. Eh, you just go ahead and click this one here, and this one has you just type directly in the line if you wanted to. Then you can save your current. And you can save the ROM, and you're good to go. Alright, that's really about it. As you saw before, when I come in here and go into Mention Unused Tools, there's now a whole lot more folders in here than there used to be if you got the older version of the Tools folder from my description. Because those guys gave me a whole lot of new tools to look into. However, you've seen how long it can take me to make some of these tutorials, so I wanted to give them out to you guys first so you can look into them if you wanted and not have to wait for me. And you can see what you can do. Though from here, what I'm going to do is uninstall the 64-bit Java that I just put on here. Because what I want to do moving forward is, since I think the 32-bit is the default that most people should have, I want to be able to know if you guys are going to have to install 64-bit to use certain tools I may show off in future videos. That way you'll know that going in and there's not a lot of confusion. And that's not too hard to do, you can just go to apps and features, and the 64-bit version is a separate listing, if I don't pass it, there you go, right here, I can uninstall. And you'll be left with just this listing here. That way I'm back to where I was. I can't open up this one. And if I go to these tools, they're now the ones I can open. Because also that way, if you guys have any other programs that you know aren't related to ROM hacking or anything that can be affected by having this different Java version, you can uninstall to get back to where you were. I don't want to mess you guys up by doing anything really weird to your computer because I'm not a Java expert. And all right, that should be it. So I wish you guys have a good day from here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody!